Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today I want to show you how to set up your Fronius inverter with the online monitoring portal or solar web, the Fronius online portal. So what we need to do first up is go to the menu system on the inverter screen here. What we want to do is press the back button. You see above this button here is a back symbol. Above this one is an enter symbol. Then there's a down arrow, up arrow there. So we want to press back. And we want to go across to the setup menu. So at the moment we're on now menu. These arrows are now changed to across. We're going to scroll across to setup. So curve and setup is highlighted there. We want to press enter on that. And you see the second option there is Wi-Fi access point. We want to go down to that and press enter. And we want to activate the Wi-Fi access point. So we press enter again. And here it comes up with uh, the information that the access point is active. It's got the Fronius data logger ID here, which is a 240.304387 number. And we've also got the password, 12345678. Now we want to go onto your tablet or phone, a smartphone, and take it from here. So here we are on a tablet or smartphone. And the first thing we want to do is go to either the App Store or the Google Play Store. And we want to search for Solar Web. So in your App Store, just type in Solar Web, and it should come up with two different apps it finds, which is you can, as you can see here. And there's a Solar Web Live and there's a Solar Web Pro. The Solar Web Live is the free app from Fronius, and the Solar Web Pro is a paid app. It just costs a few dollars. I wouldn't worry about ever downloading the Solar Web Pro app unless you have a consumption meter for monitoring your consumption on the property. If you do have a smart meter, Fronius Smart Meter installed, then the SolarWeb Pro app is a good one to go because it actually shows the consumption data as well. So download the app of your choice. And when you've downloaded the app, what you're going to need to do is go into your device's settings. And we want to go to Wi-Fi network settings. So find the Fronius network, which you can see here. We've got Fronius 240.456338. You should have a very similar network with just a different number and click on that and then we want to enter the password which if you remember from the inverter screen was one two three four five six seven eight when you've entered that just press join and wait for the device to connect to the network and then once that's connected we want to go back to your solar web app so when we go into the app it will come up with a dialog box like this setup wizard inverter in configuration mode found would you like to open the setup wizard click yes and then it'll give us the option of starting up the solar web wizard or technician wizard. Just start up the solar web wizard. So now we get to enter some information about your system. So put in the system name. So just make up a name which suits. And we want to fill out some information about the yield of the system. So we have a feed-in tariff rate. So this will be the rate that your electricity provider will pay for any surplus solar power. And we want to set the currency, in our case, AUD, Australian dollars. We also want to set the grid supply tariff to what your electricity retailer is charging you for power you take from the grid. Then we want to go to set the system time. That should be set up correctly already. Make sure the time zone settings are correct. Okay, press forward. And now we get to put in the inverter information. So it should automatically come up with the size of inverter and the device type you've got what we want to put in is the kilowatts of solar panels or watt peak of the solar panel so if it's five kilowatts of panels 5000 watts then we want to press forward again so a notification window pops up here just press accept and then we want to choose a solar web via wlan option the middle box there on the left hand side and uh, just check the box there and then it's going to find all the wi-fi networks in the local area Select your appropriate Wi-Fi network and it's going to ask you for the password for that Wi-Fi network. So just fill out that password for your Wi-Fi network and then press save. In the bottom right hand corner you have a connect button. Press that and the inverter will try and connect to the Wi-Fi network. Once it's connected it will come up with successfully connected. And now you want to come out of the solar web app go back to settings and reconnect to your Wi-Fi network that the inverter has just connected to 
when you've reconnected to your Wi-Fi network, go back into the SolarWeb app and just wait patiently for the inverter to just uh, continue the configuration setup and it should have come up with the network status and so you can see there that it's it's created an IP address we've got a MAC address and uh, it's it's detected that the internet's available so that's all good so press forward on that next you'll need to create an admin password and so just put in the password there and repeat the password and then press forward Okay, now we can log into Fronia Solar Web. So if you already have a Fronia Solar Web account, just fill out your username and password and then log in. If you don't yet have a Fronia Solar Web account, you'll need a register account. So click on the register button. It'll come up requesting all your details. So enter all your details as appropriate, then press next. Just check all your details are correct and then press submit. So now SolarWeb just needs you to confirm your username. So they've just sent you an email to your email account. So go into your email and just check for the SolarWeb email. It can take a few minutes to come through, so just be patient. And once that's come through, you can tap the, the link inside the email. Once you've clicked on the link in your email, it should get you back into the SolarWeb app. Just in the bottom right hand corner of the app, you'll see the red circle with the picture of the Furnace Inverter on it. Click on that and you'll have a, a couple of options here. We want to log in to SolarWeb. So press the login button and then you want to put in your username and your password you've created. And when you've done that, you should have full online access to your solar monitoring system. So jump into the app quite regularly just to check that the system's working correctly. And we do have another video called Understanding the Fronia Solar Web Monitoring Portal, which will really help you understand the ins and outs of the monitoring portal and how to get the maximum out of it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.